So what do you guys think about this? The XRP bulls are back. What do you think? Do you really think that they're back? Like for real? Or have they never left? When you look at this chart right now for XRP, you will say that the bulls probably came back on this day. Or at least they attempted. Now I say attempt because following this day right here in XRP on October the 3rd, look at the price action. What's been going on since that day? Shoo, price been going down. Where are those bulls at? Where did they go? If they were so amped to move the market in XRP up 5% on October the 3rd, why did they leave? Because now we're about to hit a crossroads. Those same bulls on October the 3rd, they will have to prove their point again relatively soon because the market's about to test this trend line in XRP. Will we see the price break that trend line to the downside? Because if so, then definitely, definitely those bulls are not here. And we need to become a bear and look for the price to go down, right? So let's try to figure this out real quick. Because currently, we're definitely seeing a lot of volume coming into the market in XRP right there. Now, the crazy part is, is that that volume is higher than the last two days. But then look at the price spread. Look how small that price bar is. What's really going on? Are we seeing buyers entering the market? The ones that came on and came in October the 3rd? Let's see. Let's look at this on the, on the minute chart real quick. I think you guys can see right here on the minute chart where that volume is coming in at. Okay. You can see it right here okay so what's been going on into the market in xrp following this massive amount of volume here it is on the one hour chart you guys can see it even more it just completely stands out at you the idea would be if this is by volume the market in xrp would not be trending back down it would not be going lower right now what about on the three hour chart take a look it seems to me like somebody a well an institution somebody who's holding a whole lot of xrp wanted to offload it and the sad part is is that it's not really reflecting that the demand was there to continue to lift this price up in xrp okay now this volume goes along the same line as this five hour price bar and then this one See, we're seeing nothing but weakness into the market in XRP. Even when the market gives us a probable precursor strength like this five hour bar, we're not seeing any results from it. The market continues to trend back down. Again, this market is speaking. It's letting you know already what to think. So do you think the market in XRP is going to hold this trend line right now? Just by us looking at the hourly chart in a minute basis, it doesn't look like it's going to. What about on the five day chart? Now, this is real negative for the buyers. If you're a buyer in XRP, you do not want to look at this chart because these two five day price bars, which is cumulative of 10 trading days, has definitely got inundated with selling right here. And this goes along the same line as to what happened on this five day price bar along the line of this one. So it seems to me like 55 cents is where the big bag of sellers are. And until those buyers absorb all of that selling, there's no need for us to expect XRP is going to break out. There's no need for us to do it right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at this on a different time frame on the weekly chart. You guys can see even here in the next eight hours and 18 minutes, the market here in XRP needs to close higher than the previous week. This is a very strong resistance area in the market for XRP. Here it is on the two. Okay. Three weeks. Let's look at this on the monthly chart. Now, it doesn't look drastically weak, I do admit, but it doesn't look like it's drastically bullish neither. Not in XRP, okay? So the idea for me right now is for XRP to go down, okay? But check this out. This could be where the bottom could be in the market in XRP, right here at 51 and a half cents, or a little bit higher than that. So just relax, calm down. It's not the end of the world. Price, it goes down. And those two price bars right here on the 90 minute chart for XRP, you guys can see how those buyers came. They may do a third time, which will take us in line to the trend line. So they have, to me, they got one more opportunity to prove to us that they are buyers and that they're willing to buy here 
to lift the market up in XRP. One more time, because if they don't, then the idea for XRP is for it to continue to drip down. Next target will be 51 cents. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this on my chart. Okay, the first target I've already shown you, like 51 and a half cents right here on this horizontal line. It's going to be my first target for XRP. It's only a half a percent. That's it. Not a lot. But hey, I understand that those buyers have another opportunity to hold this trend line which began on September the 10th. If they don't, my second target is going to be pushed down to 51 cents, which is 1.79. And then my third target for XRP is going to be all the way down here, like 50 and a half cents. I would do it around 50 cents, which is 3.71%. So like, again, it's not a drastic price prediction looking for the market to go down 45% or going up 25%. It's not there yet. If anything, XRP is going to continue to trade within these two lines, these two horizontal lines off of my chart. Okay. So I'm finished. I'm done. You're up. Give me your thoughts as to how you think the market in XRP is going to trade and let us know. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.